people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and turn that notification bell on because you don't miss any of our future videos. I'm going to be back now to uploading on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you have that notification bell turned on, you won't miss any of my videos. But I'm so I'm so glad to be back. Um, I've definitely missed you so much. Like I literally upload, I think it's like three or four times in December. It was just like a crazy month, like there was so much like sickness going around, I actually don't know and like touch wood how I haven't caught it, um, but Blake had it really really bad, so I thought I'd kick back off the new year with a what I got for Christmas video, um, I'm really excited to actually do this one, I love doing them, I do it every single year, I'm also going to be doing on Wednesday my what I got for my birthday video, because if you don't know, my birthday is five days before Christmas, but let's just get straight into it, so if you're wondering what is on my lips, because I am literally obsessed with this combination. We have the Doll Beauty Princess Lip Liner. I've used the Mid by Mitchell Liquid Blush in Sweet Cheeks, both on my cheeks and actually on my lips. And then I've just kind of topped off, because my lips are so dry, like stuff isn't sticking to it, it's driving me insane. But I've just finished it off with the Shimmer Bomb from Revolution in the shade Sparkle, which has like that pink kind of iridescence to it. However, I've had this on for quite a while now, so a lot of the sparkle has died down. Um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Um, I don't know, do people need to say this anymore? Obviously, I'm not bragging. Do, I, do people even need to say that anymore? If you're watching this video, it's probably because you're a naughty bastard and want to know what people got for Christmas, like me. I've been obsessed with watching these, so let's be naughty bastards together and see what I got for Christmas. <laughs> let's go. So I've literally just kind of kept everything in bags. If you could see my beauty room, like it's so much clearer now because I've literally just got rid of all my recycling. We went and took my recycling to like the recycling bins early on. But I literally have like little piles of stuff in my room. So just to give you a little sneaky preview of what's to come on my channel. Obviously, like I said, my what I got for birthday video is going to be on Wednesday. Um, I am also going to be doing a Black Friday slash Boxing Day sale video as well because I didn't get around to doing that. And I've also got a huge, huge, huge... PR video um, to do as well, which has been building up for quite a while now and I'm so, like, I cannot wait to finally try everything from that um, collection and all the stuff that I bought as well. So there's gonna be a lot of like hauls and like just really exciting videos. I'm so excited for January. I've literally planned out the full month of videos already. I literally cannot wait. So as you all know by now, because I kind of say it quite often, just because I want to be really, really like transparent on my channel that I work for Revolution, um, like Monday to Friday night at five, you don't know the drill by now. Um, but yeah, obviously that's who I work for, so this is my Christmas present from Revolution, from work. So they got us this to begin with. This is so cool. So it is literally like a little cocktail bar, just like this. You could have opted for a present that wasn't alcohol related as well, which I thought was really good because I know like for my own personal experience of people in my family struggling with alcohol, um, that's just a really nice, option to have so yeah it comes with a little card inside saying wishing you a very merry christmas and amazing 2023 with love from revolution and then it comes with like a little mini christmas selection thing as well so shows you like what you can put together to make and um, the different things and it's called micro bar box and then look look how like this just looks amazing look at this Wow, so you get a little Prosecco bottom, you get a, see I'm not really good at like cocktails and stuff, I normally just, I'm a bit boring really when it comes to drinking at home. This is just what this looks like, and then <laughs> for me, it's how cute the bottles are or anything else. This is like a little Deserano, and then you also get these raisin and yogurt. Raisin and yogurt raisins. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. cool. Last year we got like a big bottle of booze, which um, was bougie as, like so bougie. I had a little look online and it was so expensive. So I've actually saved that for when we get a house. <laughs> so we can have that when we move in. And it's like a little part of revolutions involved with me moving the house. So yeah, that was like the main thing that they give us. And then they also give us these two products as well. So yeah, we have a orange and I'm not gonna try and pronounce that, a little reed diffuser. Just looks like this. And then we also have the matching scented candle, which just looks like this as well. So yeah, that is them two from Revolution. Um, I bought myself a couple of Christmas presents. Not intentional actually, to be fair. I ordered one before Christmas and I ordered one after Christmas, but I'm just gonna count them both as Christmas presents to myself. Um, so the first thing, is actually my brand new camera lens. 
I'm really hoping that there's a difference. <laughs> um, I just flag it around. But there is when you, so say for instance, my old camera, I think it only zoomed into about here. This new lens zooms in this close. How fucking amazing is that? And it also has like amazing autofocus, whereas my old camera was so bad with that. Um, well, like camera with old lens. But yeah, this is me. Super close up. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got myself a new lens, which was definitely a spenny purchase, but I'm really, really, really happy with it. Just put you a little bit further back. Is that better? Yeah, I'm just absolutely buzzing with how it looks, the quality of it. So I'm very happy. So this is, in case anyone's wondering who loves like YouTube tech gadget things like I do, this is the Canon. EFS 18 to 135 millilitre, millimeter, not millilitre, um, f3.5 to 5.6 um, for your f-stop stop, and then IS USM. So it's not the STM one, it's the USM one. So the STM one is like a silent mortar. This is meant to be like a even better version of that. So my old lens was from like my first ever camera that I got when I first started like using like professional cameras for my YouTube, which was like, I think I was 18 when I got that because I bought it out of my 18 like birthday money um, so I've literally had that lens for 10 years so this was definitely a well needed upgrade and yeah I'm so excited to film the tutorial with it so that was my little present to me my other little present to me was these oh my god so if you know sorry I know I keep going into stories but I've just missed you so much I haven't spoken to you for ages but Long story short, I basically, I bought a Dyson Airwrap in lockdown, hated it, thought it was ridiculous price for how much my hair literally dropped out. Like I would literally curl one half of my hair and then before I finished the other half, all these curls would have dropped out. And like, I just think for something that expensive, I shouldn't have to pin my curls. Like I just think it's ridiculous. So I sent it back, got my money back and I actually really liked the hairdryer part of it, but it wasn't that like powerful and I heard that the normal Dyson like supersonic hairdryer is super super powerful so I was like right, okay why don't I try the hairdryer because they have like a 30 day money back guarantee if you don't like it you can send it back I was like I'll try that instead I did really like the hairdryer and then I was on TikTok and somebody was like oh you can get you can buy attachments that go into the supersonic hairdryer that turn it into an air wrap and I was like that's genius because the hairdryer is more powerful and has like a better like heat setting compared to the air wrap so it's going to give you longer lasting more powerful curls so yeah i bought these on i was looking around and they were like 40 quid on amazon and i was like nah so i went on ebay and i got them for 23 pound i think i paid in the end and i actually curled my hair with them yesterday i did pin them just because i wanted to practice doing pin curls but to be fair it has dropped out because i've brushed my hair a bit too too much and i didn't hairspray it but it works like it literally curls my hair and it curls it better than the air wrap ever did 20 23 pound absolutely crazy so yeah i was buzzing when they came so that is my little attachment to go in <laughs> my dyson so my main present that i got for christmas was the apple watch this is the new one the series 8 i got the 45 millimeter <laughs> i think it a millimeter millimeter starlight aluminium case in the, with a starlight sports band I've got it on here. I absolutely love it. I'm actually filming this video on New Year's Eve. If you don't know by now, it's my granddad's memorial New Year's Eve. He passed away 19 years ago today. So I never really do anything for New Year's Eve. So this is my exciting thing for New Year's Eve is getting to film and talk to you guys again, finally. Um, so yeah, that was my Apple Watch and that was like a joint present between my mum, um, Blake. Like it was my present of Blake. <laughs> my mum put money towards it. And then I had Christmas money left from last year that I put towards it. And then I put a little bit of my own money towards it because they're so expensive. So expensive. Like, that was like £400. So, yeah, it took like three of us um, to go towards it to be able to afford it. And I'm so thankful and so appreciative. And I fucking love it already. Like, absolutely love it. I'm obsessed. I love gadgets, as you can probably tell. Um, also, from my mum, she got me some slippers from Primark which I can't wait to finally be able to put on now that I've showed you. Oh she got me these which was the one thing that I asked her for. <laughs> I asked her for one thing for Christmas and it was one of these. <laughs> this is the Quality Street um, Strawberry Delight and it's just a tub full of the strawberry ones which are my absolute favourite 
and even better because Blake doesn't like these ones so I'd have to share them. They're all for me. I'm gonna have one right now actually. They're just my favourite and they're my mum's favourite as well and I'm, I literally saw them in Tesco and I sent a picture to my mum and Blake and I was like please can I have a box of these for Christmas and my mum pulled through. She's a legend our Tilly. She's a legend. <laughs> also from my mum she got me like a New Year's Eve box and then within that was like a little bag. Um, I also got this within it as well. This is the Dream Believe Achieve little travel mug, which I love. Um, and then she got me like, this is like a little mini colouring book in here. Some um, rainbow wax crayons. There was like some, there was like a little selection box in here. Me and Blake already ate that. <laughs> um, there was something else in here. A couple of like other bits of chocolate again. I'm filming this like New Year's Eve, so it's been a week, do you know what I mean? They're gone, long gone. Um, I do have my little hot chocolate um, corn still left, and obviously, reindeer dust <laughs> still left as well, that's leaking. Let me put that back in there. Um, she does it every year, it's cute as. This is something that's always been like a thing every single year in my New Year's Eve box, so my mum gets like little versions now, so it's keeping up the tradition, but it's not wasting like a full colouring in book because I definitely won't get round to doing a full colouring in book. Also from my mum in this little thingy, this was like such, oh, my hair's annoying me, this was such like a cute personalised present and I absolutely adore this, like the thought that's been put into this just absolutely melts my heart so she got me like a personalised glass and if you watch my channel or you even if you just know me personally you know I'm obsessive with the Lion King it's like my favourite thing ever Lion King and Hercules are like two of my favourite Disney films ever like if somebody asked me to pick between them I would really 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 struggle like really struggle when I was a kid I'd literally watch Lion King rewind the tape yes because I am that old <laughs> rewind the tape and then put it back on again I'm absolutely obsessed so my mum got me this which is so fucking cute so obviously it's got Mufasa and Simba on it and it says Lucas on it this is so cute she was like oh, I thought you could do it for when you go around to your friend's house because I always go to Laura's house for pre-drinks and then stay at hers when we've been out um drinking so she's like, I just thought you could have your own glass, but there's absolutely no, this, no way on this earth I'm taking this to Laura's house. This is waiting until I have my own house. And it's going to be well looked after and treasured for eternity and beyond because it is adorable. So yeah, that is that. My sister, bless her, saved her money. My sister's um, just about to turn 12. She saved her money and she got me this and literally picked it out herself, went and got it herself. Um, yeah, it's so precious because she saved her money and went and thought of it all herself and picked it out and thought of me and yeah it just means the absolute world to me so it's like a kind of like a Vivian Westwood inspired hair clip it just looks like this and I actually don't own many of these I don't own a big one like this as well so sometimes I want I've noticed my hair is like starting to snap at the top and um, like really really small bits where I have my hair always tied up like tight on top of my head so I'm thinking with this I can get my hair out of the weight off my neck but I'm not going to break my hair anymore so yeah absolutely warmed my heart how much thought and um time went into that my mum also got me a dressing gown this is like in my christmas eve box this is just what the color looks like oh it's so fluffy it's so soft my mum got me some pajamas as well as so these again she knows me so well um some lion king pajamas and i love that they're like short sleeved ones and then these these bottoms are like the jammers that I wear the most of. I've actually, <laughs> I actually had some on yesterday, which were purple Lion King ones that she must have got me last year. Absolute fave. Primark is so good, honestly, for Lion King stuff, if you're into that. And then from my dad, speaking of Lion King, from my dad, I have this big Lion King bag. I am a sucker for a bag. Like whether it's a handbag, a storage <laughs> bag, a makeup bag, I'm a sucker for it. And this is literally perfect because it's big, but it's like squishy, it's like soft. Like I said, my two addictions are Hercules and The Lion King. And my dad got me Hercules teddies. Can I just say, Hercules merchandise is so hard to find online. Like even the stuff in the um, Disney shop isn't, isn't really the best. And I bought myself a Hercules bauble like months ago and I've saved it ready for when we eventually get our own house and have like our first Christmas together um, in our own place. And I sent a picture to my, dad, to my dad being like, oh my God, how cute is this? And I bought myself a Pegasus teddy as well. And it was all in the sale and I was like, oh my God, how cute is this? And I think my dad then realized 
yeah, she's really obsessed <laughs> with Hercules. And it was my dad that got me into it because my dad used to always watch all the Disney films with me. And I just, I love Hercules so much. I know all the words and all the songs. I just love it. Um, so yeah, this is Pain and Panic from Hercules and I'm fucking obsessed. <laughs> I'm literally like just turned 28 and I'll, these are my best, some of my best presents that I got for Christmas. I can't help it. It's, it's Hercules. This one goes really well with my background, doesn't it? <laughs> Might just keep him. Should we pop him up there? Oh, I can't even see him. And what's so funny as well, if you've watched the movie, um, it's actually, <laughs> Peyton's actually got Hercules, um, it's like, slip, like the sliders on. So yeah, just makes me howl. I came back and showed Blake and Blake was just like, you're just obsessed. And I was like, I know, I just love Hercules so much. And then speaking of the devil, my dad got me this, but he said like, he didn't get a chance to get a frame in time. But I said to him, it's probably best to wait anyway until we have our own place. Cause I've got nowhere in this room where I'd be able to put this, but he got me this A3 poster of Hercules. And it's literally got like everybody on it as well. It's even got baby Hercules, baby Pegasus, the adult Pegasus, Meg. It's got all of the, like the choir, the chorus, how you would say. Obviously got Pain and Panic on there. It's literally got like everybody on there. Yeah, absolutely. Love that. <laughs> when we get a house, that will definitely be going in a frame in my beauty room because I'm just obsessed, like literally obsessed. And I think that's everything that I got for Christmas because they obviously give me money for my Apple Watch. So all my money just went towards that. Um, and we weren't doing Christmas presents this year with Blake's side of the family because we're obviously about to buy a house, we're looking, but in the next year we should hopefully have a house and his brother and his brother's um, fiance are getting married next year. So we just said like, let's not do presents, save our money kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I think. That is absolutely everything that I got for Christmas. Um, I got like money as well. Um, and obviously my mum gave me a bit of money towards my Apple Watch too. Um, so yeah, that is absolutely everything. I would love to know what was your favorite thing about Christmas. It could be a memory, it could be a present. It could be something funny, it could be something romantic. Let me know. I'd love to know how your Christmas was. Did you get a chance to spend time with family? Did you get a nice dinner? We had an un unreal dinner. Blake's brother um, did Christmas dinner this year and it was so nice. Do you know this year, funny enough, I was thinking about it because I actually did my presents with my mum and dad on Christmas Eve. And this is honestly the first year that I've literally had all of my Christmas presents on or before Christmas because normally I would see my dad after Christmas. Or I'd see my mum on Christmas day, I'd go to her house or I'd see her on Boxing Day. So this is the first year that I've actually had all of my presents before Christmas, like on Christmas day or before. And it was just very surreal. It was just like a really, a really nice Christmas. And I went all out this year, like especially because I knew that hopefully next year we'll probably have our own house. We'll have bills and everything to pay and all that palaver, which, you know, fun times. So I went all out when it came to like my presents with my, for my dad, with my siblings, um, with my mum as well. I went all out. Blake, like we, we spent more than what we ever normally do. And it was just, such like a giving Christmas like I, I, I give so many really thoughtful and really like happy presents it was just really really nice like it was such a nice memory of a Christmas and I think because last year was my first ever Christmas with my nana I don't know this year just felt different it felt like I'd put so much effort into everyone else's present I was just so excited to give them their presents if that makes sense yeah it was just lovely it was just absolutely lovely. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully see you on Wednesday for my What I Got For My Birthday video. Um, I love you so much. Thank you so much. And yeah, I'm back, bitches. I hope you've missed me because I've fucking missed you. <laughs> I've sworn a lot on this video. I don't know why. I apologise if you've got your little ones nearby. I try not to swear, but I swear a lot in real life, so I'm just talking rubbish now. I was going to say, I was going to swear again, but I will not. Um, yeah, peace out. I'm going to go. <laughs> love you so much. Bye. <laughs>